Hey there, golfs and golfettes. Tom Segudo here with my maniacal, evil golf pro look. <laughs> Anyways, happy 2020, happy new year. Last tip I gave you was last year. And I figured we'd kick off this 2020 in style with a tip that I've never given before, and it's about having a pretty finish. What do I mean by pretty finish? Well, you're gonna find out in this really brief episode. Your finish determines a lot of things in your golf swing but also can save your back, energy, and help you play a lot longer over the course of your lifetime. And the finish I wanna show you doesn't require as much effort. You should know this by now, I don't like you having to use so much effort, especially if you're retired or you use golf for recreation because we want something to be fun that doesn't require to use as, lot, as much effort. So stop working so hard. I'm tired of seeing people work so hard. Here's what we're gonna do. First thing, the finish, I see a lot of people do this and you all do this, you all know what I'm talking about. You try and shoot for the big old pro looking wraparound. Yeah, I've seen that and I've been there, I've done that. I had stress on my lower back at 18 from doing this. The big old wraparound looks really cool, doesn't it? Especially when the ball doesn't go anywhere. You're all shooting for this big wraparound with your feet, your feet are curling around 150,000 degrees and everything looks like a giant contorted ballerina except it's not as flowing and smooth looking. What you need to do instead is shoot for an effortless finish. This will tell you if you're using the right amount of effort. You're going to finish like this. Okay? The foot is not over rotated and my hands and arms are out in front of my body and I'm not contorted because that, that extra contortion causes pain, but it also can tell you that you didn't swing properly, as in you over-rotated everything on the downswing, like something like this, a big contortion. We want to avoid that. Even if it looks pretty, please don't do it. It just is killing your game. Let's shoot instead for the abbreviated follow-through. Practice this. A shorter follow through is a lot more manageable, can prevent hooks and errant shots. Okay? That's what it should look like in practice. So if you're currently one of those wraparounders, stop using so much effort. Strive instead for a hold off finish, almost like you're hitting a punch shot. You're going to be the maximum amount of efficient at the golf ball while saving your back. And that's my main goal, is for golf to be much more fun for you and effortless. So go out there, shoot for a abbreviated follow through. By the way, if you're down line here, down the line, it's gonna look something like this, abbreviated. And remember, if you over rotate, then something tells me that you're gonna finish in the wraparound, but over rotation is bad for your back. It's also uh, gonna tell you that you probably were either steep in the golf swing or you probably were trying to avoid or compensating for some sort of swing flaw that caused you to rotate more. So please avoid over rotation and strive instead for an abbreviated follow through. Abbreviated equals straighter golf shots with a lot more, a lot less curve. I mean, that's straighter, right? <laughs> Can't you tell? It's been since last year. It's just a crazy tip. So, less wraparound, more abbreviated equals a straighter shot, more wraparound usually mean you have to compensate for something in your golf swing. So golfers and golfettes, let's start this year off the right, off the right foot, on the right foot. No, I like to stay on the left foot. Let's start this year off right by having a nice abbreviated follow through instead of a giant wrap around. Always a pleasure seeing y'all on the channel. Please feel free to reach out with any questions or comments and I'll see you on the range. Thanks for tuning in.